Hi and welcome back to Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. Still me. In today's video I want to talk about... I do not want to talk about, I want to show you actually. I want to show you how my beautiful Raspberry Pi with Victron Venus OS 2.94 works with the relay board I recently installed. And if you haven't seen the video up there, um, actually those are two videos, uh, I had two relay boards which I looked into and I decided for the later version which I, for the second version I reviewed, or I looked at. Um, reason, pretty simple. Um, the first relay board did have three relays and it did not have those pins. Um, you can maybe call them pass-through pins or whatever, I don't know, I don't know. And the second one, which is this one, which is installed here on the Raspberry Pi 3B+, I always had it correct. You can use those pins as if they were normal pins or just add other stuff, I assume. Um, I have not done more research on that. But um, you're wondering why there's another camera standing here. I want to try to get a po the best possible video for you that you can see it because it's kind of a little messy, but I hope you get uh, and understand my test. And additionally to the Raspberry Pi, which you can see here, there is also this test device, which is called um, a light, a LED light. Um, I'll put it downwards so you don't get flashed at all, but what I want to show you, because I did the test already, it's pretty simple, basically where we where we stopped last time, after installation, after configuration. What you see here on the screen right now, that's exactly what was left last time. And look at this, so when I click here on on, illuminating also the light. Perfect. Test done. But I want to show you how I connected everything because I think that might be interesting for one or the other person. So first off, I'm not an electrician, so that's a big disclaimer. I'm just trying things to my best knowledge. Don't copy it if you're not sure you, what you're doing, so be careful. What I did, it's pretty simple. It's really not a big of a thing, but I will explain you anyways, even though I'm not an electrician. So first of all, the black cable is a micro USB connection to the Raspberry Pi, which provides the power for the Raspberry Pi. It does not power the relays. The relays only act as a path through basically and how that's accomplished I'll try to show you. So this is the light bulb, right? The light bulb has two wires coming in. One is black, one is white. Two wires. White and black. As much as I understood there are, at least here in America, please correct me if I'm wrong and that's something which I'm not fully aware of most likely because I'm not an electrician. There's the black for life or it can also be brown for life. What we're using, we're using the brown or the black wire. And here's a combination. So I do have the power line, this one. This is the power coming in. And from here, we do have the blue and the brown one. Just ignoring everything else right now. That's the source, right? And I'll take the blue one and I'm using one of those awesome Vago clamps um, to just connect the blue with the white wire. And then I have another Vago connected brown with another wire which goes into the relay which is over here. So the brown wire goes over here, goes in here in the relay 1. And as you can see it's still like relay 1. Here, um, even though the relay has like three ports, it goes in the, on the very left one from relay 1. And then it exits in the middle from relay 1 with another wire and connects to the black wire, also with a bagel clamp. You can do it way nicer. Um, this is just a test setup, right? But that's kind of the easy, hopefully a little bit understandable um, setup I have. I try to put in a scheme here so it's a little bit easier and understandable as well. But what I've accomplished with this, that's what I like so much, I just have to, you know, click on and relay one. Relay, so not really, relay one and relay two. Apologies for my um, pronunciation. But that's all. That's all there is to it. What I'm playing around with now is actually some automations and see and what is possible. So if that's something you're interested in, you should uh, subscribe and uh, if you want to also like the video, if, if you like that. And if you have any questions, if you want to see something else, different testing or whatever, please let me know. I try to make it 
understandable. If not, there is a good example as well up here. It's uh, another YouTuber. He was working on it and he was basically connecting everything with an awesome scheme. He was using all three relays. I think it's even a board like this. Great video. So in case you haven't understood it here, please feel free to follow and uh, look into the, the other video. The only limitation you have is as much as I understand from those relays, the 10 amp. That's the maximum those relays can handle. I hope you liked the video. Leave some comments, subscribe, and I hope I see you next time. Thank you for watching. Tschüss.